Hallo, hallo, hallo. Oh, willkom willkommen, meine Damen und Herren. Look at this. This is a this is a big box. You'll never believe how big this is. Bet you've never seen one as big as that before. Oh no, it's impressive, isn't it? Yep, there we go. We all know what's inside. Um, get Swissy to do the honours. It's been a long time since he's uh, rendered a box apart, so he might be out of practice. So uh, let's see how the old boy does, shall we? Oh, I can hear things happening. Oh, bit of the insides are coming out. Oh dear, very unprofessional. And um, I do believe we is in. So let's give it a shake and see what falls out. Steady there, sunshine. Bump, and it is the. Well, it's, it is new, trust me. It's uh, Craftwork The Catalogue. Now, this was released in 2009 originally, but they brought out a limited edition version of this um, this month because Craftwork were doing some gigs in the, in the US. I think it was at, the, at, at, at MoMA or whatever. Some museum. They, they played all their albums, and they released 2,000 extra editions of this. Uh, for the retrospective season and uh, I thought I'd get one because I missed this the first time around I was busy doing something else and so I thought well I've always um, liked craft work I've got a couple of their albums but it'd be nice to have all their records in a lovely shiny box so here we are with a said shiny box it contains all their albums, as I've just mentioned, they were remastered back in the day, and um, yeah, so uh, should be fun. So, and one more thing to do, and let's let Swissy do his job again. Now look at this, look at this, he's like a like a surgeon, and oh, that was good, was that good for you? And he's going to do it again? Oh, what a professional. I mean, this guy, he should be on the television. Oh, yes. Oh, what a master. He is a, a, he just really is one of a kind. So I'm going to just going to turn over and watch me peel this off, look. Ooh, it's like a, like a bit of loose skin. Ooh. And um, we are now into the actual box set itself. So as you can see, there's like a sort of 8-bit representation of the band on the front. Um, yeah, and, <laughs> and, uh, oh. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should get me daughter in. She could help me read that one out. And uh, what we got? It's uh, oh, I know what this is. This holds the various booklets that come with it. It comes with booklets accompanying all the all the albums. So, um, so in no particular order, I'm gonna grab this one. This is the the first one, which is all Autobahn, released in 1974. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, oh god, how do I get these things out? Mustn't damage the goods. eBay mustn't damage the goods. It's got a bit stuck. Oh god, ah, what happened? Oh, that's it. Shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. And um, I'm still not, I'm still not getting in there. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. This is this. Uh, I've reached new lows. Well, nearly knocked the camera over. <laughs> I've reached new lows with my unboxing prowess. So, um, oh, flipping heck. I'm, I'm gonna do it off screen. That's it. I think I'm getting there. Oh, yeah. This this is what you want to see. Nothing happening. And I got it out. Hey, as you can see, there's like a very, it's very good quality, very, very good cardstock. The printing is lovely. Look, there's the band before they took on their robot persona. Look, that guy's got a fucking beard, a hippie. Get your fucking hair cut, you hippie. And, um, yeah, very nice CD. Kind of blue. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's they're all very good quality, I must admit. You know, really nice, nice bit of schmatter. And, um, right, I'll get the next one out, which is that one. 
the computer world or computer welt if we're in the germany where we make quiet emotionally efficient love yeah anyway oh goodness it's a bit it's a bit lime it's a bit lime you, you like it lime do you i mean i'm not doing these in any particular order i'm just taking these out of the box so i can remember how to put them back in again and um there you go the computer world that was uh, 1981 god blimey 1981 there you go tuck it back in um, and the, the box is yeah, it's, it's nice nice bit of um nice bit of packaging there i must admit and the old trans i've got this i did have this one somewhere so it'd be good to hear this remaster this is the this is the good one isn't it <laughs> um released in 1977 mm. and look at them all look fine specimens of german manhood oh yes uh, i'm running out of things to say already um <laughs> should have boned up on this but yeah so um yeah i look forward to to checking that out i'm not sure what you guys think of the reimagining of the album covers but it certainly does something and this is the the mix which is from well gosh from 1991 i guess this is a remix album am i right i don't know i don't actually know that much about craft works they come from germany and they make bleepy bloopy noises i think they may have um I think they may have uh, been robots at some stage. See, look, see. Um, but anyway, again, that's I mean, Mickey take about German efficiency. I would, I would guess. Just don't mention the war. Don't mention the war. Um, yes. So what's this one? It's ro radio, radioactivity or radioactivität. If we are um, in German, in, in the German, uh, auf der Deutsch. And oh, oh, here we go again. Give it a shake. Yeah, got it out. Yeah, it's quite a contrast, you know, the uh, the bright yellow to the the back and white. And this one was released back in the day, 1975. Cool. Look at that. And uh, yeah, liking what I'm seeing so far. I should be interested to see, well, hear what they're like. Uh, Again, it's one of those box sets I'm going to enjoy exploring because I'm, I'm not as familiar as I should be. I'm more of a I'm more of a Neu fan myself. You know? The old uh, the old um, the other side of the tracks, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. Yeah. And this one, I forgot what this one is. <laughs> is it was it Electric Cafe? Or its original name was Techno Pop, I believe. Yes, Ooh. and that was released back in 1986. Cool, that was a long time ago. Um, so I'm getting through these. Put it back down. Put it back. That's it. Come on. Oh. And finally, the final sprout bit is the old Craftwork Man Machine, yeah. or the Minch Machine, 1978. And it's where they take on their, their communist look, isn't it? You know, everything's red and black. Red and black, don't talk back. Yeah. Um, well, what's to say? I've, I've got a red shirt. I only wear it at Christmas, though. Probably doesn't fit me now. Too many Christmas dinners. But I used to I used to wear it when I got invited to parties. So I'm rather smart. But now I always think of uh, of, of the Man Machine album. And... and, and and communism, so maybe I won't wear my red shirt anymore. And this one is Tour de France, which means absolutely nothing to me because I have no interest in cycling or the Tour de France email. And uh, oh, look, ah, there you go, cog, cog within a wheel. Um, but yeah, that should be interesting. I'll just put all those back. Think in the background, you might be able to paint, you know, pick up the faint sound of a kettle boiling. Oh, is tea being made? Oh, maybe the missus will bring me a nice cup of tea. I'm getting rather thirsty talking. So anyway, let's have a look at all the booklets that come. Each one, each of the albums gets an accompanying booklet. So um, yeah, should be nice to look at the artwork. I'll, I'll do what I can to break out the funnies, but I'm, 
I mean, it, 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 they're not that. It, they're a bit of a difficult bunch to be funny about, you know, without, like, I say, resorting to uh, racial stereotypes and mentioning of the war and, you know, towels on sunbeds and you know, sausage suckers. Should we should we get all the all the racial stereotypes out of the way? I have nothing against the Germans, despite them killing some of my family in the Blitz, because uh, we're good East End stock and they bombed the bloody life out of us. But that was in the past. Um, oh, that was a bit of a ramble, wasn't it? God blimey. Um, let it lie, Darren, let it lie. Don't mention the war. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get some thumbs downs for this. Um, anyway, this is the Autobahn. Oh, I really like the artwork. It's really, really fanciful stuff, isn't it? Oh, more email. God, I'm unpopular tonight. Um, so, yeah. I don't. Was that in the original album, do you think? If anybody knows, please leave a comment. I'd uh, be quite interested to know what artwork of this is new and what's been like kind of taken from the original albums. I'm not an expert, so if you know all about craft work and want to, you know, put me right and speak your brains, then feel free in the comment box below. And, um, yeah, I mean, some nice design here. They certainly know how to put a box set together, much better than the Pink Floyd box sets. <laughs> I'm still having a dig about those. I actually picked this up for seventy pounds. Um, I had a voucher which got me. Was it ten percent off? I can't remember where I got it from. Now was it Zavi or Send It? Can't remember one of those two. And so it was seventy-seven pounds. Got seven pound off, so I got it with delivery for seventy quid, which I think is absolutely brilliant value. And who knows? I might even keep this one if I like it. Um, but as you can see, yeah, I mean, there's some really nice design here. It's a shame they weren't all bound together. I don't know why they've done the separate booklets. You know, um, I can imagine them getting a bit crumpled up when you're trying to get them in out of the um, of the case and that. But it might have been nicer if they'd have been bound in one big, big book. You know, hardback kind of thing, if that makes sense. Because this is, you know, would have made a good coffee table book even. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I mean, it's a good, it's good print quality. And uh, I must admit, I am very impressed. I think I've got a good value for money here. Um, just got to see what the albums sound like. Uh, so I'm the old man machine again. Hey, you can see more red shirts. I've told you my Christmas, my Christmas story. My old red shirt. Uh, <laughs> allusions to Father Christmas. Father Christmas was a communist. I mean, crikey, he, he gives presents away, doesn't he? He shares the presents. I never thought of that before. <laughs> oh boy, that'll be that'll be seasonal. That joke one day. Uh, I am really going right on <laughs> off with this, but as you can see, there's some really good pictures. Was this the original album artwork, or was this some done specially for something else? Let me know, because um, I'd be quite interested to know where that imagery has come from. Uh, oh, very lime. Oh, uh, do, 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 do. all these bright colours make me make me feel a bit bilious. I'm the operator with my pocket calculator. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know that one. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, six, sieben, acht, neun. Yeah. I don't know any German jokes. No. I know a French joke. Why does a Frenchman only have a single egg for breakfast? Because one's a nerf. That's the only joke I know. Um... <laughs> Actun, 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 baby, and um, yeah. So we're certainly um, sort of got a lot to look at. Again, it's a shame there's no um, there's no documents from the band, no interviews, you know, explaining what this is. You kind of left wondering, you know, it's a bit of a mysterious package this one because you kind of left adrift. There's no history of the band or history of the box set, or you know, you've got all the albums there, but. You kind of left to. It's kind of a way I admire that because you you, know, you are kind of left to figure it out for yourself. But it would have been nice to have a little bit of um, interaction from said creative force. They really overdo the robot imagery, though, don't they? There's, uh, you know, we get it, we get it, lads. You know, you, you're not you're not of uh, mother born and all that. But um, no, one of them looks a bit like an angry Henry Rollins there. Which one is it now? Yeah, is it that one? He looks like angry. Now that one there, angry Henry Rollins. Yeah, <laughs> in robot form. Um, but yeah, so we 
yeah, some of the imagery is fascinating, I must admit. And now for Tour de, Tour de France. Will it be a Tour de Force? Mm. I don't know. And uh, again, you know, it's, it's pretty pretty nice. I, I like the graphic design. It, it appeals to my aesthetic side, my and my my nature for liking pretty things. Um, I mean, I'm enjoying all that. So, uh, yeah, bicycles, Tour de France. I wonder what the music's like. Who knows? And, uh, and I think that is it. Yeah, we're at the end now. So come to the end of the Tour de France. Do I get the yellow jersey? I don't know. Now I've just got to get all these bleeding things back in the box. Now that's the challenge, isn't it? Now do I be clever and slide them all in or do them one at a time? I'm going to err on caution and just do a portion of them at a time because I don't want to crumple them up. I just bought a bloody thing. So see, this is what I mean about they could have been bound together, you know, into a nice big book instead of this separate thing. I'm always whinging. I'm a bleeding whinge, aren't I? Um, so let's see. And that's it. Yep, yeah, got them all in there. Lovely. Look at that. Yep, all smooth. One thing left to do, let's put it all back in the box. That's how it came. There you go, can't get that wrong. And put the top back on. Well anyway, my name's been Darren Locke, and I've been looking at Craftwork, the catalogue, the reissue for this year. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Subscribe, and a thumbs up, and all that old crap. One thing to say, and that's prog on.